Welcome back. Now, Ghana's legislature this week passed the Petroleum Production and Exploration Bill into law, putting Ghanaians at the forefront of all petroleum activities and ensuring that they benefit from the country's new resource. Now, this is just three years after the instrument was laid before the parliament. Meanwhile, uh, here in Nigeria, the PIB has suffered a setback after several years. And what are the issues? Let's talk to the CEO of International Energy Services, Dr. Dero Fawibe. Good afternoon, Dr. Fawibe. Good afternoon, Now, Ghana's PIB was laid before Parliament. That was on Friday, July 12, 2013, precisely. And just after three years of getting, the, uh, uh, getting to the Parliament, uh, they have passed it into law. How will this uh, be a game changer for the Ghana's oil industry? Well, the, it's a very good reference from Ghana because the, uh, the Minister for Energy did say that the Department of the Export actually encouraged uh, uh, investors to come to that to show that Ghana needs it. In fact, he went for that to say that the Ghana will not be considered as a whole. Well, we seem to have lost um, Dr. Fawibe there, but we hope to uh, connect back to him as soon as um, possible. Uh, let's see what's happening in the uh, Republic of Congo. Well, there, that country, uh, that country's $2,029 bond jumped by as much as $0.07 cents on Tuesday after trade body Emerging Markets Trade Association said the country had transferred funds to make an overdue payment on the issue. Brazzaville had initially missed a payment of the interest and capital due on 30th of June 2016 and then failed to pay up during the ensuing 30-day grace period. And that's according to ratings agencies Moody's and Fitch. Both agencies had subsequently downgraded their assessment on the oil-producing Central African country. And um, South Sudan plans to ask China for a $1.9 billion loan, a sum uh, sick, uh, equal to more than a fifth of its national output to be used for infrastructure projects such as roads and bridges. Uh, that's according to its foreign affairs uh, ministry. Now, South Sudan's economy, which the World Bank values at um, 9,05 billion dollars, uh, has taken a hammering from a two-year civil war that ended in 2015, leading to a fall in oil production. Oil has accounted in the past for most of government expenditure, while it has also taken loans from Chinese companies offering to pay for them with future oil proceeds. Weak global oil prices have also badly hurt the economy. Okay, we seem to have um, gotten uh, Dr. Fawibe back on the phone. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, joining us again, Dr. Fawibe. Okay. Yes, you were trying to explain how this will be a game changer. I mean, the PIB uh, passed uh, by Ghana's parliament, how it's going to be a game changer for that industry. Well, the, according to the Ghana uh, minister, you know, uh, the passage of the bill into law is to open business and uh, for Ghana and to make, to show that Ghana is determined, you know, to, uh, to engage the international investors in the oil and gas industry and make Ghana a hub for oil and gas uh, production in the sub-region, that is in West Africa. Then, the, the, of course, it's understandable given the fact that the biggest, the, the biggest company, country in Africa, uh, the largest uh, oil producer in Africa, that is Nigeria, is uh, having a lot, lot of you know, uh, performance in terms of uh, engaging the international uh, investors because for too long, the uh, petroleum industry being in Nigeria has not been passed into law, which introduced a lot of uncertainty. And it's been reported over and over again that as much as about $15 uh, billion uh, is being lost every year due to this uncertainty. 
And Nigeria is the process has uh, lost the, the, the status of the biggest oil company in Africa to Angola. Now, if the political situation in Ghana is stable and the uh, invest investment environment is uh, good, obviously many companies uh, will be going to South Africa to, uh, to Ghana to make investment. And for example, in Nigeria today, we know that uh, there is no oil deal that is going, uh, that is taking place, and also rigs that tend to uh, uh, give indication about the level of exploration being done in the country is uh, has now reduced to uh, the barest minimum, you know, uh, for many years. So these are the uh, things that tend to make Nigeria not an attractive place, and of course, given the the encouragement that Ghana is having in terms of uh, uh, many companies coming there, this one will be, this passage of the deal will be another game changer for that country. Now, talking about um, Nigeria, now, what exactly is the issue here? Why is it that they are finding it difficult to pass this bill? It, it is very unfortunate that the, the National Assembly is behaving uh, the way it's, uh, it's doing with respect to PIB. As you will remember, uh, two tenors of this uh, of, uh, that National Assembly has failed to pass the bill. That is, during the uh, tenor of uh, uh, the first round, when uh, uh, Jonathan was, uh, uh, Bele Jonathan was uh, the president of the country, that was up to 2011. And then the new, uh, the last tenor that ended last year, the National Assembly pretended as if the, the bill would be passed into law. Of course, it did not. Now, we have a new Senate. Uh, what, in effect, I'm saying, the, this is the uh, uh, Senate, the seventh Senate, the sixth Senate, you know, uh, they tried to pass the bill into law, and it never uh, happened. Then the eighth Senate now is already, you know, posturing that this bill will be passed into law. So far, we've not seen any uh, concrete uh, evidence that the bill will be uh, passed into law. Although that's not to discount the fact that it was a couple of weeks ago, the House of Representatives, you know, called for a forum in Abuja, whereby you know, stakeholders came round. You know, to offer uh, ideas and suggestions, make presentations, and so on, with a view to now uh, uh, making the document in a way that uh, will be suitable for the National Assembly. We haven't collected all views from the, the stakeholders. We hope that uh, this time around, that is during the, the term of this National Assembly, you know, the bill will be passed into law. But if the pass is anything to, to go by, it doesn't give one any hope that uh, the bill uh, uh, will pass into law because there, there are so many differences that uh, 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 that the uh, National Assembly is supposed to reconcile, and so far they have not achieved any success in that uh, regard. All right. Thank you very much, um, Dr. Fawibe, for talking to us. Uh, Dr. Diro Fawibe, CEO of International Energy Services. Now let's um, take a quick look at uh, what's happening at the... Um, uh, foreign exchange interbank uh, market. Ada Mbachu, um, Forex dealer from Diamond Bank, joins me now. Good afternoon, Ada. Good afternoon, my dear. So what, are the ge what is the general sentiment in the uh, FX market today? Okay, thank you for having me. The market has been quite active. At the interbank spot uh, market, we have been active trading, and also at the futures market, we have seen a lot of activities as well as clients have become more aware of the product. So generally we have had an active trading day. So what's the liquidity uh, uh, level like now? Well, the market has actually been trading um, and the market liquidity has been quite um, has been quite um, quite um, a bit um, at, a, at a controlled level right now because we have not seen interventions from the central banks. And, um, but however, the market has been trading quite actively. Now the market will be closing in just a few minutes' time. What uh, figure are we likely going to see there? What will the Naira be closing at? Okay, the Naira dipped to 312 
and 312.50 levels today. But however, it's currently trading at 320 and 320.5 levels on the bid and offer, and I guess that is where it's going to close today. All right. Thank you very much, um, Ada, for your time. We take a quick break, and then when we return, we'll look at the activities of the debt market. Do stay with us.